Welcome to Specify. This video will introduce you to editing forms in the workbench. I have the workbench open, so now I simply need to choose a data set by clicking on it in the sidebar. I'm going to open an example data set, which you may recognize if you watched the new data set mapping videos. Data sets open in a grid view, but we want to open them in a form view, so we go down to the bottom right and click on the edit or view form button. And there's our data set as a form. The first thing I want to show you is how to rearrange the fields. This is a drag and drop feature, so I simply click on the label, hold my mouse button down, drag my field wherever I want it on the workspace, and then let go of the mouse button to drop it. It's that simple. I can also rearrange my fields by double clicking on the label to bring up the properties dialog for editing. And there is an X and Y coordinate on that dialog. Let's see what an X coordinate of 250 would look like. I can type in that number and then hit the apply button to see what the change will look like before accepting it. And then I can simply say cancel to go back the way it was or okay to accept the change. I'm going to say cancel. Let's take a look at some of those other editable properties. I'm going to double click that label again to bring it back up. And the label or name of this field is editable by dragging, by either deleting it or highlighting it, however you want to accomplish that, and then simply typing into that field on the dialog. The field length is the number of characters available for typing in data, and that is editable. Let's make that 35. There is a 99 character limit on the field length. I'm gonna say apply to see what that looks like. And that's definitely more than I need for my field number, typically. That's okay. Let's say cancel, because I think I will need more of my last name. So I'm going to double click that and make it 35 and say okay. You may be wondering what some of the other fields were. Let's take a look at those on that properties dialog again. The field type and number of rows this allows you to type in more characters, so it's a way to bypass that 99 character length. A word of caution, when you are changing the length of allowed for a field, the workbench will allow you to make fields whatever length you want, but within the specified schema, these are limited. So you may want to check the schema before editing your field length. Let's go ahead and do that and see what that looks like. The first thing that I want to do is add some type of remarks field because that's something that I would want a much greater length for. And I don't have one in my data set. So let's see how I would go about adding that field. That is accomplished by editing the mapping. So let's save our changes to this form by hitting the Save button on the bottom right. And then to edit our mapping, you may remember from the mapping videos, we need to close our data set. Then we find our data set on the sidebar and right mouse or right button click to bring up a context menu. And then we click on Edit Data Set Mapping. And our mapping editor pops up. In the mapping editor, I want to add a field, so I'm going to click on New, and then I want to add a remarks field to the collection object table. So I'm going to click on collection object, and there is collection object remarks right there in my field. So I'm going to click it, and then add it by clicking on the add new column or arrow button. And now that's accomplished, I will say OK. Now, I want to go into the Specify Schema and see what the length of a Remarks field is. So, under the System menu, I will click on Schema Configuration. 
and I want to open it in English, and I want to edit a schema. I click that button. And my tables are listed on the top left, so I will click on Collection Object to bring up my fields. And then I want to find a Remarks field, and there it is. And down here I see that the type is text and the length is 4096 characters. That is a lot. Uh, it's a huge limit, but it's good to check. While I'm in here, I think I'll check on that last name that I edited. And that would be in the agent table because it is a relationship. And then I need to scroll on up to last name. I'll click on that and it is a length of 50 so I can definitely double check in my workbench data set that I have not given that field a length greater than 50. We have not made any changes so we'll say cancel in our schema config. And then we'll go back to the workbench by clicking on it in the tab bar, and we'll open that example data set again by clicking on it in the sidebar. And then again, we need to open it as a form, so we'll go down to the bottom right and click on the form edit. And here is my remarks field, and it is already on my form as, let's double click that, as a text area rather than a text field. This allows me to type, as I can see, 45 characters in five rows. So it's really a way to get around that 99 character field length limit. You simply need to create or make your field type a text area and then give it a number of rows and a field length. And you can do this with any of these fields again, but you want to check the length in the schema configuration first because when you upload the data or commit it to the specified database, if you have typed in more characters than there are allowed within specify, then it will just be truncated. You will lose that data. So we are obviously okay with our remarks field though because it is huge and I'm going to say okay, and then let's go check that last name again. I'm going to double click on the label to bring up my properties dialog, and I've only made that length 35. If I wanted to this time, I could, and I think I will, make it 50. And I know that whatever I type in there will go into specify with no problem. Oh, I do want to mention that you can also open the Edit Properties dialog by clicking on the tool on the bottom of the workspace. It's the one that looks like a wrench that I have my mouse over. And that wraps up form editing in the workbench. Thank you for watching.